The Seahawks were back out at the VMAC for training camp following a successful mock game over the weekend. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Well, the team was back out at the VMAC for their 10th day of training camp as they prepare for their first preseason game coming up this Saturday against the Raiders. There were a lot of plays that got the crowd pumped up. Here are just a few. Geno Smith finds tight end Colby Parkinson, who makes the contested grab. Standing at 6'7", 250 pounds, we've seen Parkinson do this over and over throughout camp. Next up, it's another tight end who gets a call as Russell Wilson connects with Gerald Everett. Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf picking up right where they left off last season. Wilson with a deep ball to Metcalf in tight coverage. He makes the leaping grab and he's able to bring the ball down. But on the other end, Metcalf was unable to haul in the catch on a well-covered play by Trey Flowers, who breaks up the play. Afterwards, he addressed what it's like battling Metcalf on the practice field. It's real fun, just knowing that he's bringing the best out of me. And the DK is cocky. I talk to him a lot. So anytime you get to break up a ball, you got to let him know something. Following practice in front of the 12s, Pete Carroll and a couple players spoke to the media. The team is just a day removed from the mock game held on Sunday at Lumen Field. And after watching the tape, Carroll noted a few things that stood out to him, including rookie Stone Forsythe, who filled in at left tackle with the first team offense. Both the tackles, uh, Greg Island and Stone Forsythe, both those guys played a lot in this game. They had to play because of the, a couple things that happened right at the end of the week. And uh, they, both, they both held their own. And uh, the, I thought Shane did a nice job of getting the ball out for the quarterbacks to help them in pass pro, and, and those guys hung, hung well. So they did a nice job for uh, a couple young guys. Um, really probably uh, Al Woods might have had the best day. He had a bunch of plays that he made. It was all over the place, knocked the ball down, plays in the backfield, and also uh, was pretty solid across the board. Carroll also mentioned that injuries suffered last week to tackle Cedric Abwehi and center Ethan Posick will keep them out of the preseason game against the Raiders this weekend. A key emphasis of practice on Tuesday was third down situations. It's an area Pete Carroll has said he would like to see improvement. One of the first things we talk about when we talk about third downs, it's really everybody has to win their one-on-ones. You know, whether you're a one-on-one -on -one pass rusher or pass pro, uh, the guy running the route, the guy covering the route, it, it comes down usually that that guy's got to make a play, you know, and so we have to do, everybody's got to do right. So it's really emphasis on, you know, you got to come through and do what you're supposed to do to fit together with the play. And uh, so execution is really the key. And so... Um, you know, we want, to, we want to make sure that we're fast with the football and don't allow the rush to be a factor uh, and, 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 you know, get the ball out. So that means guys got to win on the routes, you know, and we're going to have to beat tight coverage. And so we're playing a lot, of, you know, a lot of aggressive coverage to make everybody have to work and show who they are uh, and their abilities and stuff right now. And so uh, it's a good part of camp for us in that regard. And today was, it was a good day for all that emphasis. And finally, the 12s have yet to see wide receiver Dwayne Eskridge participate in practice as the Seahawks' first selection in the 2021 draft was put on the pup list at the start of camp. But it sounds like we could be seeing him on the field soon. He had a really good day again. He's had, this is the fifth day in a row of, of him running and conditioning without any problems. So that's a really good sign. We're trying to make sure, because he has not been able to run in a conditioning manner over the offseason like we would like, we're trying to make sure he's in good shape. And so once he's back out here, that he, he can sustain. Uh, so that's, uh, but, it, but it's all very positive and he's, and he's, he's going in the right direction. Well, we've heard so many good things about Dwayne Eskridge. I cannot wait to see what he can do out on the field.